Hi everybody, welcome to this video review. This is actually going in a slightly different direction and I'm going to be doing it on the Sailor Moon R DVD part 2 actually. Let's get started here. So, um, I really love the um, images that they chose. They have Sailor Moon in the center, all the other soldiers in the background and we have a little glow that's um, identifying each soldier so let me just show you guys what I mean by that so let's first go to Jupiter let's hope it focuses in this camera really isn't yeah let me just see yeah this camera is a bit too old and it just isn't like to zoom in it does its own thing most of the time so let's see there we go sorry about that so we have solar jupiter right there we have the lightning rod and it's glowing green solar mars at the bottom where she has her scroll it's growing <laughs> growing glowing red and we have solar mercury and she has a little handheld that's glowing blue. Venus, it looks like she's performing the crescent beam attack and her finger is glowing orange. And finally, Sailor Moon, it looks like she's about to perform the crystal, not perform, sorry, release the powers of the silver crystal. So like, as you can see, like, they focused on, um, one of the features of the Sailor Soldiers that they usually use in the TV show, whether if it's an attack or like an ability that they have. That's pretty cool. See, like when I don't really care for it to uh, focus in, the camera focuses. When I want it to focus, it doesn't focus. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's technology for you. So there you have it, and as you can tell, it follows the same basic like color, like the layout as the previous DVDs and I like how they're giving like a diff slightly different color for each season like the first season was all pink this one is more of a peach color it's hard for you guys to tell because on the camera it appears as pink as well so like I really hope they follow this for Sailor Moon S super supers and um, stars the back here we have Chibiusa with her Luna P. On the bottom here we have like various little um, scenes from the TV show. So let me see if I can actually zoom in or if it's going to give me problems. Let me see. So it doesn't look like it's going to be kind and zoom in for me. There we go. The first one, it looks like Sailor Moon is using her scepter from the finale towards um, the Black Lady, or I can't remember what she's called when um, Chibiusa is uh, possessed and she turns into a full-grown adult. The next image is of all five Sailor Soldiers. And then um, we have Tuxedo Mask and Sailor Moon in the image where... She almost dies because of that monster that puts her into a deep sleep. Then we have Sailor Pluto, followed by um, the uh, the king or tuxedo mask from the future. I honestly cannot remember their names. I apologize. Um, this image actually, sorry to just go off topic, but this image actually gets me because uh, how cold tuxedo mask is towards Sailor Moon. I was actually wa uh, watched the first episode in, from part two. And I know he's getting all these like premonitions or dreams to stay away from Sailor Moon Usagi. But there was no um, justification for the way he treated her because he could have at least like let her in on what's going on. And like, and like told her like this is how it's going to be. And then if she still insisted on trying to be together, then he could have tried those tactics to try and like push her away. But pushing her away 
being mean to her right off the bat without even knowing how she would react to the news was just cold and very callous on his part. At least that's what I thought. Anyway, sorry, carrying on. Um, we have like a brief synopsis of what part two is about. I'm not even going to bother reading it. It's like a little paragraph. We're just going to eat up time. When we take off the sleeve, it basically is the same design. It's really nothing different here. So inside we have Chibiusa. The first disc is pink. Second disc is Sailor Pluto. And um, these discs, they follow the same basic layout as the previous Sailor Moon DVDs. They had have, have their own like color going on and they give you the number of episodes. Um, which disc it is and which season it belongs to. The very last disc is of Queen Serenity from the future. And um, and of course, those are the finale episodes. So that's basically it for um, this DVD. I was actually pretty psyched. I was actually like counting down the days of when this would be released. Because... Um, I've been having uh, bootleg DVDs of Sailor Moon. And Sailor Moon R was the only defective season, meaning that uh, not all the episodes were complete and there were episodes that were like freezing. So I ended up um, getting Sailor Moon R Part 1. And then I thought, why not just re replace all my bootleg DVDs? Only official season that I have, and I am very thankful till today that I got was the Sailor Moon S DVD from Pioneer. The um, it's Let me actually grab it because I actually have it right here. I can show you guys which one it is. It does look pretty ratty because it is like very old. I was still in high school when I got this so like early 2000s. So that's my only official set of Sailor Moon and to this day I'm very thankful that I got it because it has the old school dub even though I don't really care for it. I still the classic dub is something that you won't have, but again, I don't really care for it, but I just love these DVDs. I know how rare they are. So Sailor Moon S is the only official set I have. All the others are bootleg, so I thought why not re uh, replace all of them. And um, so I currently have um, all of them here. So. There are, these are all the DVDs. So we have, uh, this is, sorry, it's just kind of hard to do it this way. So here we go. This is the first season. And um, I guess I'll have to use both hands. First season, a uh, part one, then part two. Second season, part two, and then part one. Um, anyways, going to grab all of them, even the Sailor Moon S ones, just so I can have a full set of them. I'm really psyched that they re-released them, and um, I really don't care for the new dub. It it kind of follows, it kind of reads off the, uh, the subtitles, that's what I feel. Like, it kind of turns me off, and the voices aren't that great either. So that's basically it for my review, and um, I actually finished the first season of Sailor Moon. Um, it was quite the ride. Like I, it was kind of hard getting into it at first because I wasn't used to just seeing Sailor Moon fight alone. Like I'm used to all the soldiers being there. When I really got into it, it really was worth it. And it's just amazing how much work that they put into it. And one thing I also noticed was that they put a tremendous amount of work on um, the storyline. I mean, I know a lot of people complain that they stretched the um, story with pointless fillers, but um, it really was an amazing story how they took each of the Dark Moon Kingdom's uh, soldiers and they gave them their own little arc. Like, Jedi had his own arc first for I don't know how many episodes, like, like 10 or 11. And then we have Nephlite who had his own arc followed by Zoocyte. And uh, then uh, Kunsite. Although Kunsite was short-lived, I wish they did more with him. And one thing I 
another thing that I also noticed was like how nicely the drawings improved. Like when I popped in my art DVD, I was like, really? Those are the Solar Soldiers? Wow. Look so much more better and sleeker, like actual humans. Well, previously they kind of looked 2D and I could really notice the, um, the animation. But we're stepping over the 10 minute mark. I'm going to stop here. So keep a lookout on my next reviews, which are going to be on the villain figures loose. Thanks for watching and have a great day.